And for this session we are watching a Legend 2 Storm play vs Viper. I think this was a winning match, pretty short actually. So I guess the team for this one will be, well as the usual laning and then how to play a winning match. Let's go. As we can see, this is a tough situation for Storm to win. The range creep has has been taken down first. This means uh, that the lane will be pushing more slowly, which also means that the Storm will have to take more time hanging around this lane. In this situation, the best uh, thing to do is to just pull the creeps back with the aggro. Yes, the Viper will probably stack some Q on the Storm, but that's why we came prepared and have a self. Which eventually does happen, the Storm Rattles the Viper and the creeps get pulled back. Now at this particular moment, when the melee creep is reaching Storm, the worst thing you can do is go uphill, because that makes the creep lose vision and the aggro Storm. So it will just re return back to the nearest other enemy target, which is back where Storm doesn't want this creep to be. So if you find yourself in this situation where a creep is following you, Make sure to not let him lose vision of you and keep a relatively close range so that, so that the creep can still follow you. And if the creep were, were, was to be parked next to Storm, that would mean a really easy free last hit without, need, without the need to use mana. But now the weapon can just deny it. So the equilibrium has been reset, and what we got now is uh, two ranged creeps from the enemy side pushing down the storm side. Now is where storm can absolutely play safe, only come in to do a manual right click because there is no hang ground, there is no chance to miss, and storm has a higher base damage than wiper. Yes, he does. So this this situation where when when the waves are parked like this, it is absolutely safe to play safe. Yeah, something like that. There is not really a need to do some aggro tricks. Just let the wave push back to yourself. Remember, we're trying to avoid as much harassment as possible from the wiper. Even though we still have reach and it's best not to even need to use it when you can save it and have it ready for later when you actually need it. Although uh, one note here, the wiper does not have any region. So an alternative play right here can be to actually use any free moment to right click the wiper and harass him back because chances are if he doesn't have a self shipped to himself, he will not be able to recover from such trade. And that would automatically give Storm an upper hand until Wiper does ship out himself a self. One more thing to note here Wiper's main damage comes from the highest stacks of the poison uh, thingy so the storm should should absolutely keep his range and not let too many stacks fall on him in this case viper did misplay, build, misplay a little he has stopped pursuing storm he has stopped uh, putting the stacks up so storm coming coming up to do the last hit would usually be a mistake, but the Wiper did not follow up, so it, it did work out eventually. And usually when there is a ranged creep versus tower scenario, storms should, in most cases, not necessarily now, but in most cases, uh, start walking to those creeps before the tower starts hitting. 
because in just three hits the range creep dies. If the range creep is alone and not being hit by anything else, then it's pretty easy to time the right click. But with the with the viper situation and the creep situation, it will actually be quite hard or next to impossible to calculate when exactly should the right click. So instead, the safe play is like I said before the tower even started focusing the range creep to just come and drop a remnant. This way. By the, by the time the second missile connects, the remnant will explode and safely secure the last hit. And now, when the Viper has right clicked uh, Storm and got the creeps back, now Storm should absolutely prepare to secure the ranged creep. Against most heroes, Usually you can just walk that walk down and drop a remnant and do a right click and that will work against uh, heavy harassment heroes like uh, Queen of Pain and the Viper and probably the Shadow Friend. You should just be close, close enough for a right click and not any closer. And this move was not the correct move. He, the storm uh, came down, he de the creeps with the wiper, so this means the constant delivery of damage got messed up and it made it harder to calculate when to trap the remnant. So yeah, that was kind of a bad play. And never stand in the same spot against the viper, not even in the high ground because he will still come out on the top of such trades because he will stack some, some poison thingies on you. If, if the only way, the only, well, the only time you come out is to right click Viper and drag the creeps back. Let's also talk about when to block. In this case, it is absolutely important that you do not block. And you can actually quite easily calculate this just by watching at what's going on on the other side of the high ground. The creep just died and it'll take tower just like two hits to kill this one with the creeps hitting him, so that's about 2 seconds max. So what will end up happening is those creeps will meet just on the enemy's high ground, which you absolutely do not want. So in these cases where you know, or you can actually see that the, uh, the amount of creeps coming into high ground is pretty low, you will know that the enemy will clear those pretty fast, and you will want to avoid blocking so that the next creeps will travel just enough to be under the enemy tower and be hit by those, which will naturally push the wave back to your tower, allowing you for safe last hits. And now we're back to same advice, square one. The only time you come down is to right click the wiper. But the Viper now is level 3, his Nova thingy, poison thing is twice as effective, and he can afford to skip some last hits to deliver a lot of harassment to the storm. If a few if fewer mistakes were made, Storm would be level 3 by now, would have remnant level 2, and would be able to negate any of the Viper's harassment by simply going to the jungle and waiting for the creeps to come back. At any moment going down to last hit right now is kind of a misplay just because of the potential damage the Viper can do to you. And since we, we actually were back to the same routine, again we have two range creeps so there, is, there isn't re even any reason to come down, just keep your range up, uh, last hit with the overload and let the wave push yourself naturally.
Yeah, exactly the same mistake with the range creeps there. A player can notice these patterns and just train them on the demo mode or something. It's pretty easy to fix. Yeah, from this point onwards, Swiper will just dominate the lane, so Storm to just eat the self, keep the range up, and try to triangle a bit. Just to keep up the, to the net worth. The Wiper is, cool, is playing quite passively even right now. Uh, a good Wiper would recognize his advantage and just place himself on top of Storm's high ground and just prevent him even getting close to the creeps. Okay, let's skip forward a bit. Again, when you know that the creeps are going to meet on the enemy high ground, don't even waste time against uh, Wiper or Queen of Pain or other heavy harassment heroes. Just go back to jungle, clear those tags. You being here, you will not get easy last hits, you will heal a lot of damage, it's not worth it. Well, damn, that's a that's a pretty hard throw by Wiper. Nice, nicely done, Storm. I don't even know how to come in here. The Wiper clearly misplayed, and Storm got pretty much lucky. And that's not something you should try to replicate in, in normal games. Again, the best play is to just keep distance and rotate the jungle. But this little move ha might have actually won Storm the lane. And yeah, if you accidentally got a kill like that and are on the level advantage over the enemy, you should absolutely start playing aggressively and push on your pressure. So Storm with level 6 should just, should just pummel the Viper with the overload charges. Try to get some damage going. I'm pretty sure the Viper doesn't have regen. Let's check. Yes, he does not. No cells, just some tangos, which aren't gonna hold very, very long. So in this case, with Ascendant Advantage, Storms should look forward to push the pressure. Or at the very least, Storm can dance in the middle of the creep wave. Whoa, 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 dude! Did you forget there's a range creep? Where are you going? You're level 6. Well, this was bad. Well, anyway, as I was saying, a level 6 storm can just dance around the creep wave, dropping melee remnants, because you can always zip out if the Viper gets too many stacks going on. So that's pretty safe. Yeah, this time, if the tower didn't follow up on the damage, then uh, committing is not exactly advisable. Well, anyway, I think the laning phase is coming to a close, uh, and, and the best conclusions we can draw for this scenario, for these, this storm play, is just uh, to recognize when the creep position is at a disadvantage for a storm and just play around it, stack some jungle, do some aggro tricks or just head back and wait. Those were the biggest factors for mistakes in the lane. 
And then there's some other common things like uh, troubles calculating how fast the range creep is going down. And then there's the fact that there is still no vision on the runes, minute 7 with the 3 wards. And the fact that Storm is hanging around with like 20% HP and can easily die if Vengeful Spirit rotates mid. Look at those runes, that was so lucky, I'm jealous. Nice. Although what they would try to do is to just kill a Viper, it's double damage and reach and what more do you want? Well anyway, let's skip forward a bit. Yeah, that's exactly what I said about Storm from level 6 being able to just dance around. Because right now Wiper has Amber Storm and Storm just zipped out. That's why from level 6 Storm can just commit fully to click on the wave, kill the wave and head back because Wiper has no slows, no anything, can never commit to, to actually kill Storm if Storm has enough mana, which he should. Now apparently for the storm both side lanes have won, looking at the network scale, yes that's exactly what happened, so storm supports can just hit middle, and in this in these cases if you have, if you actually have uh, like uh, the back lines, the supports covering your back, you should just devote all your time to pressuring the tower, because the enemy is unlikely to engage. Of course you can do a pick off or two if you see an opportunity like this. But in between those, just pressure the tower. The middle tower is very valuable. The sooner you get it down, the sooner you will have uncontested mid lane runes and the enemy will have to fall back deeper into their jungle. And this is also the first time I'm seeing a clarity being used, so something to take note and use a little bit more. I think this hard commit wasn't that necessary. Because the Witch Doctor has used uh, Malevolence Thingy on the Viper, so the Viper would have most likely died, and the Storm all he did was just waste all, all his mana on a kill that was most likely secure already. And wasted mana means less efficient farm. And also the fact that the Storm. When the timer was coming to minute 12, did not react and put himself closer to the river to ta actually take the rune. That region rune that Viper took would have been very helpful in speeding up, speeding up the orchid timer. The Viper has just died, the Storm should see this and deduce that no one is protecting the middle tower because uh, just by breaking down position numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
the biggest farmed hero on the map, Spectre, will definitely not want to defend a mid tower, she wants to farm. And the second one, Wiper, is dead, so conclusion is that nobody can adequately defend the middle tower with the Wiper being dead and with a fear of being initiated on by the Wayfather Radiant team, the mid tower should have no trouble falling down. And that's what the storm should work towards. Push the wave, collect the rune, hit the tower. And again, the entire team gets a pick-off, and this pick-off should not be used to clear more jungle griefs, it should be used to push the advantage and take down some towers. It's minute 15, the Raiden team is 8k gold ahead, and the only tower that is dead is the bottling tower, and that's only because the Rift King doesn't know any better moves than to stay in the lane. So yeah, that's a point for all of the lower MMR players. If you smell an advantage, if you get a hint of an advantage, use it and hit the buildings. That's the key to success. Like, right now, the only reason Storm jumped into the mid lane is to pick off a lower position hero, Zeus. And not because the mid lane is very weak and vulnerable and the tower can be easily taken down. So what I'm saying is the the reason that uh, lower MMR players stay in low MMR players because they have misguided reasons why they should do anything. Like right now Storm's reasoning is hey it's Zeus it's a free kill. But what if you go one step further and see hey this tower the team is very weak, they cannot defend tower, the tower is 3 kill. And that's the mindset that everyone should be thinking about and working towards. Let's continue. Okay, for the storm there is absolutely nothing of interest in this particular lane. The only good thing about it is the big camp next doors, but that's it. There is no tower to walk towards, the creep wave has just been depushed, and this teleportation has been a giant waste of time. I don't know what else I can say about this. This is a play you would do when you are behind. Because you know that the enemy will not be playing in this area, so you can safely farm the jungle and some creeps. This is what you do if you wanna spend the next few minutes working towards the defensive item so you can properly fight. Storm with an Orchid in this match with 9k gold lead should put such move at the lowest priority list. Hitting creeps to work towards next item is not the play here. 
the play here is to use the level advantage, the farm advantage, the team's farm advantage and the goddamn orchid to go hunt some towers. And not the creeps. This, this passivity thing being so passive is another very common reason that the lower MMR players stay lower MMR. So far, Storm with the Orchid, an Orchid which he had for 5 plus minutes, has mostly spent these 5 plus minutes in the jungle. I think when you say it out loud, it doesn't make much sense. Well, the tower is finally down, so that's good. And yeah, now that the outer towers have been taken down, the entire Radiant team can use this advantage to secure the jungle and kill anyone that comes close to defending anything. And that's the game state that realistically a team with advantage can achieve not minute 22, but minute 15, with the first power spikes, one of them being Orchid. Well, this teleport wasn't exactly ideal, but yeah, there were creeps. Ideally, a support would rotate in to get those creeps. And, and the, the kill potential core would remain in the jungle, being ready to jump on anyone. It's not the worst place, but it can be made better. Well, from this point on, onwards, I think it's a free match. Yeah, it's a free match. So yeah, let's re-summarize again the biggest problems. For the laning, it was a recognition of when the creep position wasn't favorable, and then there was the passiveness after hitting the power spikes. Then there were also questionable teleportations. And I think those were the biggest issues. There were some minor ones here and there, but everyone can do those, I'm not gonna be hung up on, on those too, too much. Silly deaths also happen, I, I also sometimes throw like this, sometimes a lot. Sometimes you just die, I mean, there's, there's not much to comment here on. The biggest issues will always be on the macro scale, understanding what you do on the map. If you fix those, even with the silly deaths, you can still you can still climb pretty fast. Yeah, I think we can end the replay here. Can't think of anything else to say here. So yeah. Thank you for watching and good luck.